Hey everybody, um, so I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be covering this. This is the R1 Tech Face hoodie. Um, it's not a new product I and mean, this is a new um, color for this season. Um, I believe the color code is Fertile Brown. Um, and so yeah, like I said, this isn't a new piece from Patagonia, but it's a new piece to my kind of collection for layering systems. Um, I was actually on the fence about buying the R1 Tech Face uh, earlier um, this ice climbing season, right around December. I had thought about it, but then I kind of put it off and I was just been rocking like hard shells mostly for my ice climbing. Um, but then I kind of started thinking about this one again. Uh, it kind of got to, when I started having more of an interest for dry tooling, I was kind of thinking about a soft shell more because realistically that's what the R1 Tech Face is. It is a, it's a soft shell. Um, you know, there's other soft shells out there that are just kind of a lightweight. Um, the one, the soft shell I used to use um, a couple of years ago was the OR Ferrosi hoodie. Um, that's just a basic soft shell. And I did like climbing in it. Um, you know, a soft shell offers the most like flexibility and you know, it gives you that baseline protection. You know, a hard shell obviously gives you more protection for the long term. You know, if you're just if you're just in like just like almost like a little spout of water, if it's coming down off the climb, you definitely want to be in a in a hard shell. But you know, for those days where you know the ice is kind of dry or it's not that wet or it's not that windy, a soft shell does great. And I haven't been in a soft shell this year and I was kind of looking at the options and I still really wanted to get the R1 Tech Face hoodie. And I did have some previous experience with the kind of Tech Face line. Um, if you saw my, layer, uh, my layering guide for ice climbing video, I do use the R2 Tech Face sometimes. Um, the difference is, is the R2 Tech Face is, because it's R2 fabric, it's lofted and it's more, I mean, it's more equivalent to it's more equivalent to like a nano uh, nano puff, so it's definitely warmer. Whereas the R1 Tech Face is actually it's going to be less warm than an R1. Um, it offers way more protection than an R1, but like hands like hands down, if you're in the same situation of like controlled conditions, I'm pretty sure that the R1 tests that it's warmer just because the grid is a little bit thicker. Um, as you can kind of see, I'll give you a little close up. Um, this is kind of the grid, so you can definitely see that they're kind of more spaced out and they're not just like the regular R1. Um, so it's just it's just more of a basic like soft shell that has some fleece. Um, you don't you don't generally get this jacket for its warmth, but you get it for the protection that it offers. Um, the R1 Tech Face line it's really good. It's really durable. Um, it's re super stretchy and very protective. Um, it's actually pretty great for wind resistance. Um, I have the, like I said, I have the R1 Tech Face hoodie, or the R2 Tech Face hoodie, but I also have the R2 Tech Face pants, and I've worn those in super windy days, and I have rarely any wind penetration. So, I kind of have high hopes for this jacket. Um, again, I haven't used this jacket specifically, a uh, full, more in-depth review will come down later. This is more just kind of my initial thoughts and first impressions. Um, yeah, like I just haven't spent much time with this jacket, but I've spent time with other jackets that are very alike. Um, what I can say is that overall, I really like the fit. It kind of follows that same fit of the R2 Tech Face and kind of like the, the Nano Air as well. It's a slim fit and a lot of these slim fit silhouettes from Patagonia fit the same. Um, here they are in the arms. The arms are actually a good length. They're kind of baggy right here, but I don't really care. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, arm length is good. If I stretch up, it'll be out of frame. Uh, but I always kind of deal with that, like a little bit shorter arms, just because I have like a like a plus four ape index. So I had to deal with that no matter what. Um, stretchiness, I mean, it's super stretchy. And that's why I definitely wanted it. I wanted it for ice climbing and more kind of going into dry tilling just for the mobility. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited for that. Um, it does have side pockets, side zip pockets, so that's pretty nice. I can stick gloves in there and zip them shut to secure. I do have a hem cord, which is a nice addition to see. Um, just means you can seal it up. Um, they also do have this little inner pocket right here with all this mesh. 
And uh, yeah, I mean, this is just a great overall soft shell. It's a polyester based, um, it has a DWR, it doesn't have PFC free DWR yet. Um, that is worth it to know when you go to look at the specs of this jacket on patagonia.com. Um, it shows that it's just a regular DWR. Um, it does also say under, under the helmet hook compatibility, um, but I've read some other places that it works and with like over top of a climbing helmet and because I have that right here, I can actually demonstrate for you that the hood of the jacket should fit over um, a climbing helmet. And most of like Patagonia jackets, they normally, they will say like it's under the hood compatible, but a lot of times it does work um, with the hood over the helmet. So I'll just put this up. And yeah, it will, it will work with the hood, with the hood over the helmet. Um, I think the only thing though is that what I kind of found just, just briefly when I've worn it with a helmet is that you probably want it unzipped because when you look up, it doesn't pull. Um, this might not be a, as much of a problem with a climbing helmet that has a good like ratcheting system so it stays in place, but because the Sirocco is only webbing, the hood might pull. Um, that's kind of the only one downside, but it will work. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited for this jacket. Um, definitely will up you, update you guys once I use it more, get some days ice climbing in it, doing some other things in it. Um, overall, I'm super happy to finally have this in kind of my collection for my layering system. It'll be a great option that I think I'm gonna reach to more now. And uh, yeah, I'll kind of give you guys one kind of final spin around just to see how it kind of fits. Like I said, this is a slim fit and um, I'm a size medium in it. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one.